as you see the respect being shared between the corners with Andy Lee and Sugar Hill Stewart, Tyson Fury, and then Dewey Cooper and John Mbumba on the other side. And a great embrace for two men who first met up to talk about this fight at Wembley Stadium. And what a reception for Francis Ngannou. And who knows how the judges may see this. Ed Garner has 143 career fights scored. Alan Krebs, a veteran of 615. And Juan Carlos Paleo, 268. They will decide it. And keep in mind, those scorecards include a 10-8 third round when Francis Ngannou scored the knockdown. Tim Bradley, you flew all the way around the world not knowing what would happen. You said you had a dream a week ago <laughs> that Francis Ngannou would win. You told Francis that. He said a dream is just a dream. <laughs> there have been moments tonight where an arena full of believers are believing in that dream. <laughs> Absolutely right. The venerable ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. What a way to open Riyadh season here in the city of Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here are the judges' scorecards. Ed Garner scores it. 95-94, Ngannou. Juan Palayo scores it. 96-93 for Fury. Alan Krebs scores it, 95-94, a one-point decision on the third card, winner by split decision, still undefeated from the United Kingdom, the WBC heavyweight world champion, the Gypsy King, Tyson Pierre. With a final scorecard that was read 94, 95 to 94. Tyson Fury barely, and I mean barely <laughs> escapes with a split decision win. He outpunched Ngannou 71 to 59, according to CompuBox.